Uh, is this the full... Uh, technically, I could make it bigger. But I don't really want to. I think it's fine like that. Uh, we don't need the lore, right? Alright, so what's our name? How about that? Bafsa? I think Bafs Bafsa is a little better. I considered both. Up to 14 letters. Somewhere out there is someone on Earth with the first name Kurt Connell. And he's like, thank God I can finally put my whole first name. Nope, nope, you missed the 3S and or chill. Well, you missed the 3S, you didn't miss the chill. Alright, I don't want to spend too long on this. This is good enough. Oh, um, what's the optimal... What's the optimal birthday for the Wygraph fight? Optimal, what do you call that? Zodiac. Yeah. Capricorn is apparently good. How do I get Capricorn? December 22nd to January 19th. So I don't even need to change it. I'll just be Capricorn. Let's do 19 just for the memes. All right, this is a truly goaded opening that we won't be watching. If you want to watch a fucking Let's Play of this game and get all your lore, you're not going to get it here. We're going to be skipping all cutscenes. We're here for the gameplay. This game has great story. One of the best of any video game I've ever played. So it's a shame that we're just going to be skipping it. So I don't know everything about 1.3, and I also haven't played it in a long fucking time. You know, we're probably going to be using quite a lot of super speed as we play. Don't leave any survivors. I think Afghanistan's quite a bit nerfed in this version. Okay, well that's not a lore, that's not a nerfed scenario, but it is interesting. Were these always archers? I think they were. Oh, you know, maybe they were squires. Actually, they're marksmen now because archer has been killed in favor of marksmen. We got a new job. Uh, that's not great. I don't know if this fight is possible to lose, but you can definitely make it take a long fucking time. This is an FFT ROM hack, yeah. That's a pretty good start. What I do here literally does not matter, by the way. Uh, none of the experience I get in this fight carries over. And none of these characters. Magic Ruin, by the way. Pretty interesting. So the knights have like uh, uh, stat breaking skills. Oh boy, look at that! Oh boy, we had uh, a fucking... Dude, Red's gonna die. Time strike. Uh, let's kill this guy. Alright, what I should actually do is just start knocking this dude. It's the most efficient strat. He needs to die. Agrius is casting something. 
It might be Stasis Sword. Oh yeah, um, oh yeah, Wish revives. Also, fucking random characters have Wish. This is a look at things to come, by the way. I might actually, like, maybe not lose this, but it's looking pretty ugly. Okay, she had a, something broken. Alright, so there's that guy down. It's good. I've actually lost quite a few teammates, which is not great. I may be able to knock this guy out. Alright, I'm, I'm carrying for this party. Oh, was her sword broken? Alright, Red revived. Alright, Red killed again. I think enemies have an infinite inventory. I mean, uh, NPCs. We're slowly breaking them down. Mostly thanks to me. He's got, like, move HP up. This whole thing is just very awkward. This ROM hack is, I think, not good, but it is interesting. Uh, equipment breaking is a thing for night, yeah. That's actually accurate. Alright, Gafgarian is... Uh, he's still got his weapon. Alright, so let me see here. I guess I'll go for the night. What do I have in my guts? I have yell. Is that what I think it is? Adds haste. So it's not speed anymore, it's haste, which is a lot more fair. Heal is... So they added stop and berserk to it, which is pretty interesting. It was always darkness, silence, poison, I think. I guess we'll throw a rock at him. It's free. I kind of wasted my turn a little bit. It takes longer for my next turn to come up. Okay, that's not great. This fight, we might actually lose this fight. Okay, well, he went for some kind of... He went for, like, one of Maluda's skills. Alright, me and Gafgarian can take the last guy, probably. Okay, so that was an MP drain, so now he has got a little MP back. So that's very good. No, my dad died. I think we can't win this. I think I'm actually going to lose the tutorial battle. Gafgarian's damage is way too low. Especially this guy having move HP up. This fight went really badly. I guess eventually Gafgarian will get enough level ups that his damage is going to go up. Maybe he's got infinite high potions or whatever. Is this game good? No. I was gonna say yes, but it's really not showing its strengths right now. He has weapon break. I'm thinking about resetting. I forgot enemies can level up too. Oh, he used a regular potion. He might not have high potions. And we had something broken. Alright. The start of this ROM hack... Oops. It's the list of all the games I played recently. The start of this ROM hack is the worst part. And I don't just mean this opening mission, but like a good amount of the opening is horrible. But I think that the devs really like... They would have been like, whoa, if they just saw what happened. Alright, let's try this again. From the top. January 2nd. Any number that's not January 1st.
So one of the big things this realm hack does is it tries to add revival and healing to more fights. It also rebalances characters to be more fair. Like, uh, Mathematician has just gone from the game because it's too unfair. But it also makes a lot of characters a bit more interesting. So we got some kind of bad luck. Oh, look at that. Sending strike. That interrupts charge. Alright, let's wander a little closer. And I guess we could throw a rock. Alright, we did it. We threw the rock. Alright, great. That only killed because of the rock I threw. And he broke my helmet. Protect is good. I really want to kill... I want to kill that fucking... That fucking cleric guy. I need him to die. I think I had bad compatibility with him last time. That made it kind of difficult. Alright, that's better. We're not going to have so much revival. Yeah, this is definitely going a little bit cleaner. Explosion, by the way. I forgot about that. Black magic has been radically changed. Uh, let's give this guy a little donk on the head. Weapon guard, aka parry. Okay. By Jove, I think we can win. They made that guy pretty tough. Oh yeah, protecting the character with 1 HP. Oil, by the way. Uh, 66 health. I'm doing 14 bad compatibility with him this time. Something got broken. Uh, Gafgarian is carrying with his fucking... Oh, stop! Hell yeah. All me, baby. Hell yes. Yeah, they have a lot of the boss spells. Alright, we don't need lore. Uh, that was good. That fight was a lot better than the first one. It's kind of okay to have little money. It's kind of okay to have um, a total wash right at the start of the game. The meager. I like how these random cadets accompany you all the way to fucking Milan. Oh, previous save files. I will save here. Alright. Uh, I think it would be the safest to bring both my... my mm. 70-70 is really good. That's actually maybe worth considering. Ramada. Do you really want to high brave on everyone? High faith or low faith can be good depending on what the character is trying to do. They made a faith and brave harder to um, modify in this hack. Help. Women are better than men in FFT. So I'll probably get a bunch of ladies. Uh, what do we have in our pocket? Okay, that's decent. Let's not do anything fancy, we're just gonna wait. We're gonna try and kind of bully all the enemies in big old groups. Uh, I, yeah. 
Throw a stone. Oh, he guarded it. With what appeared to be parry. This is already a pretty annoying fight sometimes in the base game, but it can be truly horrible in this. That guy has a unique face, by the way. Okay, very low HP. It's a good start. I should be able to dunk this guy. Wait, he's not where I think he is. Yeah, he's not. Alright, well. Whoa! The super speed thing. We really just want to beat the fuck out of like particular characters in one by one encounters. Alright, everyone has to throw a stone, that's nice. Alright, we're wasting a potion, but we're also wasting my fucking time. Here's the unique face guy. Um, Alright, that was lucky. Oh. Okay, that's great. Getting a big old hit off on the... Uh, Region. Okay, I would like to kill him. Yes, there goes the region. So there might be characters who can bring him back to life, which is annoying, but I can deal. Um, let's chuck another stone. Uh, that dude, I guess. You want to kind of systematically kill off people. I lost someone. I think it was my revival dude. It was. I like how everyone has fucking throw stone. Oh, I would have loved the 10 damage version of that. That guy's a crossbow. Okay, the leader has Phoenix down. That guy has items. Nice fucking roll. Okay. Just keep on chucking stones. Um Must cheer up. Region. Feels like a lost cause for her. This fight's going quite well. Oh, I forgot that was an enemy. Okay, this guy's at 96 CT. We would really prefer if he didn't get a turn. Cool. I need to revive someone. These my dudes. Greenest enemy. Oh, I don't have first turn on Ramza. Cheer up is objectively experience if I get it off. I would like for that last guy to kind of come a little closer to combat, so I'm just going to focus on girl. That's unfortunate. Okay, that guy's not fucking getting closer. I like never ever use the auto battle feature. We're going to lose, we're going to start having characters die pretty soon. Alright, we could maybe push her off. Um, let's inherit some skills. Whoo, good little list. Don't see why not. I used to think that you had to, um, you only got whatever you picked, but you actually get everything. And I missed an 80% of myself. Let's bonk this guy. Okay. He had a crossbow, and instead he threw a stone. Super speed, baby. Alright, look, I got a job level up. That's really nice. Alright, we lost a guy. 
I don't really care. In fact, I should really be going for crystals. Ah, that doesn't have anything. High potion, sure. Let's uh, cast spell on ourselves. Even though we have region, yeah, we can still get it and still get job experience. All right, cool. Horrible fight. Uh, let's watch the cutscene of our dad. And then we'll kind of sort out our team. Which is going to be a bloodbath, by the way. Sure, I'll go to work for you. Almost so cute. I love how Balbanes and Ramza both have the ponytail. And Alma. That's how you can tell that they're spiritually their father's children. Um, okay, so we're going to... Oh, I could have looted... Mm, I didn't think about that. I could have looted more equipment if I left more people alive. Yeah, that's a bit regrettable. So Orwell actually lived. Is this just a sign? Should we just use him? He's got great brave and faith. And then he also, like, managed to survive the first fight. Uh, let's take him along. So see how this character is character number seven? I don't know if you guys can see that on the fucking... Down here. Does my mouse show up? Yeah, it does. Uh, that's actually a number you can never, ever change. Compatibility with Ramza? So this is a Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces, Leo, Aquarius. We're a Capricorn, so we're not any of those. Uh, because you can't ever change that number, this character will always... If you get like if you recruit a monster, for example, the monsters will always show up between these two. The monster will be sorted into like three because there's an empty slot for three. And because of that, if I choose to use this character long term, I will always have to scroll like kind of a long way to her in every single fucking pre-battle thing. It's so shitty. Alright. Nice party. Let's go to the soldier office and recruit some new fa faces. I think two women would be good. Konnichiwa. Uh, those are abysmal numbers. 7056, kind of good. I think I'm going to go for high both. I, upper 65 plus for both numbers is my like threshold. 43 for both. There's really no downside to having um, high brave. You really just want high brave, unless you're doing... Oops, I didn't look at that one. Move find item stuff. That's decent. We're going to be here a while. Whoa, that one's a lot harder. I see the year, and I see the... I haven't thought about that character in a long time. Is that my? Something year my? Something year before? Nihongo, oh... Is that Benkyo? What is that? I recognize that. That's in between or middle. Ita ita. I don't know, dude. Ooh, that's a good one. Let's take her. Alright, name my cute girl. Her name is Jenny. Dude, we got the XJ9 reference. My life is a teenage robot. We got Jennifer Wakeman right here. XJ9. I could have done that a little better. JLo. We can name her anything. I will take the first remotely good suggestion, including Jenny. 
How did XJ9 spell her name? Was it J-E-N-N-Y? Oh. Several years prior. Nihongyo, oh, Benkyo. Benkyo what? How do you read this? Benkyo Chu? Benkyo Naka? Jenna. That's horrible. Benkyo Chu was correct. That would have been my guess, but it's, it sounded weird. Je ne sais quoi. Yeah, she was Jenny with a Y. Jenny, Jenny, who can I turn to? Oh no, what did I do? Anyone ever see the movie Jennifer's Body? That movie was actually great. I went in with kind of low expectations and I fucking loved it. Alright, one more for the road. I feel like I'm rolling a character in Mabel's story. Whoops. Decent. Where do I live? Oh, where does Initial D live? Ah, pretty good. I'll take it. Bath movie night? Fucking Jennifer's body? Tempting. Rabbit died, so we can't do Bath Movie Night with Rabbit anymore. We can probably still do it with Discord. I just want a website where like one person can just throw something up and like ever any number of people can just hop in. C can patch Mpat. I don't care about that. Although it would be useful. I'm gonna be rolling like a zillion times. Beatrice. That's a nice Final Fantasy name right there. Ginny and Beatrice. I feel like I've heard those two names in that. In like, I feel like this is something that has characters with both those names. Uh, perfume is really busted, but I don't know if perfume is busted in this hack. Betty. Beatrice is kind of stiff. It's a cute name, but it's kind of stiff. Betty is okay. The subplot with uh, Low Shoulder in Jennifer's body is absolutely peak. That shit is hysterical. Bets. I right, bet. You know, she can be Beatrice. Alright, let's deck him out. First of all, what the fuck are we gonna do with Ramza? Well, we didn't <laughs> we didn't unlock Marksman and Knight. Uh oh. A lot of skills in here. Got target. Got beat down. I think accumulate is very tempting to grab. Since you can use it to grind. Haste is quite good. Wish brings dead characters back to life. Which, by the way, I think is just something that everyone has. This was such a mistake. I like most of the things about this ROM hack, but this is just awful. Mostly because every fucking, every fucking battle you got characters who can just revive each other. Enemies that revive each other is just frustrating. Cheer up is regen. Target is... Ignores evasion. So this is dash, but it's better. Because it uses your same weapon type. Target is honestly going to be super helpful for the early game. But Throwstone is good enough. 
What's beat down? Oh, I think it's just randomized damage. I think it's like repeated fist. Right? Or is it low accuracy? I don't remember. I think it just has the damage randomization like when you're swinging an axe or doing repeated fist. Getting first on on everyone is probably the absolute safest way I can play this in the opening. I could be very wrong. Potion is literally free. Phoenix down, is it still 90? It's literally free! Wow, so everyone can just have fucking potions and Phoenix downs. Sounds good on paper, until all the enemies have it. No, I'm not. Your favorite game of all time is Final Fantasy Tactics, but this is not Final Fantasy Tactics. I should put that in my broadcast. Please hold while I change my title. Alright, title has been changed. FFT Battleground stream? Yeah, loosely. Alright, so the opening fights of this are absolutely, like, nightmarishly hard. Especially because I'm not going to be bringing a fifth character. I probably should have just kept one of the characters. But I'm going to just leave an empty slot for the time being. Oh yeah, I have to do the, um... Uh, Argath fight. Argus fight. Okay, we only get to bring four for this one. Pick Chung. I sure hope Algus doesn't just suicide. Okay, he's coming closer, that's nice. Dude, there's a Tonberry! Tonberry on the screen! Tonberry spotted. Tonberry mention. Tonberry mention would be a good meme. Alright, let's chuck some rocks. Damn it. That's experience I missed. And also damage. I didn't put item on everyone, by the way. I definitely should have done that. Oh, that's great. Yep, I love that. I love almost killing someone. And then, then just healing. Fuck it, accumulate. The Tom Berry's getting closer. So I haven't killed any anyone yet, so can I even everyone scrudge me? Dude, that was pathetically weak. My party's already kind of taking a beating. Okay, that's great. That's super helpful. Oh yeah, that's, that's fucking nice. Oh, it's going swell right now. That guy's name is J.I. Why is the Tonberry helping the enemies? Looks like I have. I won't hit him. 4 HP is not very much. Can I kill... Oh, I, I forgot you lock in your moves in this. So I guess I'm moving here no matter what. A fist! I took off all his gear! And I didn't put it back on. 
He still did good damage with his fist, so I can't be... Did I just get charmed? Slow and poison. Okay, Argath, useful. Um, I'm going to chuck a rock at my teammate. Cool, too. Couldn't have been better. Uh, let's attempt to wear down this thief a little bit. Jenny got our job level. That's a bit annoying. Oh, it's getting more and more annoying. Oh, it's getting more and more annoying. And he got a turn. And he put regen on himself. So good odds Delita can revive, and also good odds Algus can revive. Okay. But if neither of them can revive, this is going to be ugly. My fists! Okay, this is this is just this is just going so shit, honestly. Die. That did three, and I moved him further away. Okay, Algus can, in fact, Phoenix down. I need him to find Ramza and do it to him. Alright, all non... all human enemies are dead. Everyone's grudge! It missed. Uh, thankfully his reaction ability did not activate. Okay, I don't have that much time to win. Please, Algus. Alright, cool. I don't care if that came out of my stockpile. I'm just happy. Happy to see it. Delita can't die. Might as well get some experience off of him. Okay, I don't love that these are probably coming out of my stock. You think monk material? Tried to stab me. Might as well get the chest right. I mean, it could be something good. Dagger, sure. So that our thief, I would like to get that. Twelve damage with chef's knife. That's weak. Probably the weakest chef's knife I've ever been in the entire franchise. All right, what abilities? I drop. Well, that's useless. This is what you get, Delita. No, I don't get experience to cards. Alright, that fight went well. About as good as it could have gone. Now we've got to start grinding. I think we can do a little bit of shopping first, though. Let's see if anyone hit um, rank 3 or whatever. No. Yes. No. No. Um, do you really want to grab a lot of Squire skills? I seem to recall that this is a decent like, skill set for any job for the opening part of the game. And don't forget, we we have, like, you know... Counter-throw was pretty whack. 
It's just counter, but it works. It's counter tackle, but it works regardless of range. Weapon guard is free. I might as well get that on everyone. Equip axe is kind of jank. It's a lot cheaper, I think. Hi. Monster skill. Gain JP up is gone, by the way. Uh, accumulate for grinding. And target for safe attacking. I guess. I really want all... I want that on everyone. I have some good juju. We'll grab Wish, I guess. I don't know. Fuck it. Marksman. Pretty interesting job right here. So, um, Archer is one of the worst designed jobs ever in the base game. And they've actually made something pretty cool out of it. Let's take a look at both of these. So we've still got the break skills. I think they're cheaper than they used to be. Uh, and now we've got... Well, I think these were already here, but now they're better. You got range on them. I think you used to have to do them point blank, but now you can cast them from a distance. Lower speed value is really fucking good. Counter is good. That's normally on Monk, and it's normally, I think, like 600 or something. No, I think it is 300, but it's normally on Monk. Getting counter early is kind of nice. Defend is here. It's normally on Squire. Equip, armor, shield, and sword are all kind of pointless. Um, Knight seems very workable. Marksman, you still have speed save. I think it used to be more expensive, actually. Equip, crossbow, and concentrate. Concentrate might have been 350 before. It might have been 400. I don't remember. I think this hack gave gain JP up to everyone and just removed the skill for it, which I really appreciate. It's just like they just raised JP gain and then took away the skill to raise JP. When I play FFT, I always put gain JP up on everyone and then just play without inherent abilities, innates, which is just a uh, bad design. Mm. Time strike. It hits the it's variable. It hits the opponent right before they become active, I think. And the longer it charges, the more damage it does. It's quite good. That might be not true. It might just be the equivalent of like charge three or something. Stunning strike will interrupt any charging, which is kind of fun. Um, what else we got? Curse strike adds oil and blind. Kind of good. Mocking strike. Reducing their will to fight. Doesn't actually say what it does. Is it lower brave? Who knows? Heartache strike. Add negative status. Temporal strike. Cancels haste. Weird. Weird skill set. Well, fuck it. Let's put time strike on him. Could be. Oh yeah, Steel Heart. Mm, could be. I thought about that and then I thought it was silly, but no, I think it might not be silly. Might be it. Uh, I guess we'll just chuck fucking item onto everyone. And let's learn... Weapon Guard. What about you, Ramza? Throw stone, I definitely want. Wouldn't it be nice if this guy was wearing clothes? Speed plus one. Something's raising his speed. The knife? I think knives might raise speed in this hack. This is the PS1 game, but it's a ROM hack of... Hmm. 
Mimic Darabon is actually a super good skill in the base game. Bucket Knight. Fire Emblem and FFT are like completely different games, but they're both superb. Why does he? Why is he a rank six squire? Jesus, he's almost got enough to just cap it. Also, he's got headbreak and armor break. I think there was something even in the base game that Ar Algus's squire was not a typical squire. Was it these two? Did he have that? Did he have break skills in his base job? There was something unique about it, but I don't remember what. I think he would technically be the most useful as an archer. But let's go ahead and just chuck uh, Guts onto him. Alright, let's get uh, pushed into um, the campaign by our brother, covertly. Zabag scenes are so fucking good. took me several playthroughs of this game to realize he put me up to joining the campaign. I thought it was just something we all collectively decided to do. But now watching it, it's like, oh shit, Zalbog actually, like... <laughs> he sets us up to do it. Baphom's, uh... So the Bogon can be equipped by Squires, right? Maybe, maybe not. Still shows not Squire there. Was equipped crossbows just on that guy? I thought, for some reason I thought Squires could use it. Okay, they just didn't put it on there. Well, that's better. I might break my bank if I just buy everything I can use. I got weapon guard on everyone. I don't really need the shield, right? What's my plan? Should I have one boy and one girl each for the um the magical and the physical jobs? That way I can get both dancer and bard. I was just gonna make both the girls into mages, but I think it would be better if I kinda did a little bit of cross crisscrossing. That's the slightly more optimal way of doing it, but then I won't get a dancer and I won't get a bard.
And I do want to see them in this hack. Might have been better to just put bug on everyone. I have one Phoenix down. Uh, let's sell my holy water. I will never use this. It's power source. Ancient artifact from Rond. That's a lot of money right now. If those are rare, then whatever. I don't like using items in this game. Let's get some fucking shoes on my party. Deadass Tim's B. Alright, so this is the part that is going to be awful. We need to find a fight we can actually win. Which is a lot harder than it sounds. Hell yeah, Cantaloupe is awesome. The early game fights are absolutely hellish. Wish I could bring Delita. Bard Ramza. Take him down the magic path. Alright, what's our enemy today? Oh, this is one of the easy ones. We got three squires. Alright, we can actually win this. The monster fights are horrible, but the human fights are pretty simple. Uh, accumulate is a great way to build some experience and also to make it so we can just kick some ass once they ever get to us. There are so many encounters you can get in this hack. Ow. Well, I hit him back. I like how I did a regular attack, but couldn't I have done target? Ooh, that's that's painful. I don't want to lose anyone. And I lost someone. Alright, she lives. So 20 at 80. What's target? 14, 100%. Fuck it. Ah, that would have been nice. Damn, you know a lot about this hang. Yeah, parrying sword. Seem to recall it's kind of good. I paid 40%. Good if you have weapon guard on. Which he does. Alright, hell yeah. Get squished. That's annoying. Or maybe we can just continuously revive her. Like the enemies do. Well, you know, 77 is not 100. Okay, he broke my armor, that's kind of annoying. And that was also kind of annoying. Alright, we live in. If we can waste their turns having them kill someone over and over, I'm okay with that. Let's target this guy down. Two targets should be enough to kill him. Did we get the double attack? I think we did. Yes. 
All right, good fight for grinding. Okay. It is pretty deep. Nice. Now we're truly playing FFT. As soon as one person dies in a way that's inconvenient for me to revive, I'm gonna unleash hell on this fucking last remaining enemy. Okay, he might be surroundable. I don't quite see a way. I gotta revive. If I can surround him, then I can break the fuck out of this fight, because he doesn't appear to have a close range weapon. Mom's have barely missed this turn, which is annoying. So is he surrounded right now? I can't tell. No, he's got throw stone. I won maybe a little sooner than I meant to. But that was a good fight. Um, Wish on more characters is good. I would like move plus one on everyone. The first little opening part of this game, we're just going to grab a bunch of stuff from Squire. Like, fuck it. Move plus one is going to be too helpful for too long for me to ignore it. Counter throw is also quite good. Put that on. What do these do of anything? Nothing. The outfit is probably quite good. Oh yeah, I need the fucking... I had some shit broken last fight. The extra health is kind of nice. 13. Don't care about the MP yet. Battle. I hope it's a good one. I might be farming, like, squires. Alright, we got a uh, monster and human. Two thieves and a tonberry. Another pretty easy one. And we could potentially get a useful skill or two from the thieves, but we don't have thief unlocked on anyone yet, unfortunately. So we can't get thief skills. Damn, bro, you got the whole squad accumulating. Oh, two Tomberries. I, I would really like to kill the thieves. The Tomberries, I'll figure out what I want to do with them. 
Okay, I should have thrown a stone at my party member. Auto potion, by the way. So we're gonna probably have to kill him via targeting. Didn't want to do that. Okay. Oh. Okay, it can still proc even if you target. This is probably a fight I might legitimately not be able to win. Okay, that's pretty bad. Okay, that's pretty good. Voodoo? Is it voodoo? Okay, that was nice. We really need to kill these guys. Why would I not target him? Gil toss. Oh, that was a lot of damage too. Okay, this one has... Um... Uh, poison to 3 HP. Oh, that would've been nice. And that guy has high potions and fleeing AI. Um, okay. This has gone from bad to bad. And I got the instant kill with Chef Knife. Yeah, this is... I lose. I just lose. I'm not going to play that out. That's not coming back from that. I think that was a winnable fight, but I didn't really play it super good, and I also got a little unlucky. I should have run away and just spammed Accumulate. Had everyone kind of scoot to the left and try and take on the solo. Um, okay, we got more humans. This should be pretty easy. Ooh. Take a look at the uh, chemist dagger. Maintenance. I think uh, these guys might all have maintenance. No, he, this guy doesn't. He's got a mantle, man, mantle and parrying sword. My when I started playing this the very first time, I was taken aback at how useful target was. I was like struggling with stuff right at the beginning of the game, and then it was like, wow, target dodges the activation conditions of the counters, and then also always hits, and those are the main two things that were getting me fucked up. Yeah, my dude's a survivor. Is this the power of high move? He's charging, so he should take an ass ton, and he shouldn't be able to dodge. Bonk. Explosion. No. The double shot. Of course. Alright, this is a pretty bad start, but hopefully it won't matter in the long run. Let's try for a cheer up. I don't know if it's going to work in time. Can't throw the potion. Was it? I didn't really think so. Shield break and it killed her. 
That was a lot of move. Oh yeah, my man doesn't have um target. Alright, getting healthier. Ugh. Close work. Uh, let's attempt to execute this guy before he gets to the next turn. That's doing zero hit rate. Okay, this is actually a very losable fight. Given that both my revival or my revival unit is dead. Oh, and they've got Revival. So, Ramsa can wish. She just missed having her turn. Okay, that guy chewed himself up. That's great. Well, the potion's not ideal. So, let's attempt to kill that guy. Even though I got a good roll. Yeah. He moved find itemed. That's pretty funny. I forgot that enemies can do that. Effer. No. Double hit, that was nice. Can't quite get to him. Uh, 76 is actually zero. Starting to realize. That was nice. Oh, it's you. But I don't recognize this name, Jackie Clam. What is it normally? Yep, that's it. D Clam X. These gain JPs don't look like gain JP ups. No, why would you do that? She's missing out on EXP. There we go. No, she's not. Treasure chest could be something cool. It was battle boots. Those are worth a lot of money anyway. Hell yeah, this is FFT right here. I once knew someone on the internet who legally changed his name to um, Wolfgang Bladestar. That was like his real fucking legal name. So I think about him sometimes, even though I knew him like 20 years ago at this point. He thought he made like some super fucking badass decision, and all I could think was, wow, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. So 
so we're also getting spillover JP to each other. So every time I do this, 16 is like one tenth of the way to a move plus one. Can I get that chest? Where is it? It's a crystal. I'll get there before the enemy does. I saw a funny post on Twitter recently that was uh, a trans woman changing their name to um, Edith or something like that. And there was a guy complaining about it. He's like, I support your right to be trans, but please, for the love of God, tell me why Edith. I always thought that was pretty funny. Um, Sure, Jenny, you can have the crystal. Okay, I really looked out with that one. There's three types of names for a trans girl. There's something very ordinary, like Edith. Ha. Huh. Like Jenny. Something very ordinary, like Jenny. There's something way out of fashion, but kind of cool, like Edith. And then there's um, Luna. Luna specifically. Yep, just Luna. That's one of the three. Make a meme that's like fucking the person at the crossroads. And the person is labeled trans women. And then the names are... Um, those. It's not just Luna. There's stuff like... Uh, let me think. Hold on. There are names like that. Lilith, that's another one. There you go. It's names like that. No, not like Gertrude. Gertrude is f firmly in the uh, Edith camp. I feel bad if the people got Luna from... Um, yes, like RPG names, basically. I feel bad if the people got uh, L uh, Luna from um, uh, Harry Potter, because they're probably not feeling very beloved right now by um, J.K. Rowling. Estelle is not such a strange name. I know Estelle's. They're mostly Mexican. Ah, 81 is not 100. She missed your turn. Annoying. Out here guiding. Ugh, she missed her turn again. Things could get very hairy if I miss 281s and then he kills the second character. Okay, never mind, she didn't miss her turn again. They're probably the never leave the house type. Uh, the turn order is the CT. It's a little bar underneath the HP and MP on every character. Zoe, huh? Pretty good name. Stop bullying my little squire! Ah, uh, yeah. 
It does. I've only played one Zone of the Enders game. It was the Fist of Mars, which is probably one of the least played ones. It's a GBA uh, strategy RPG. Very similar to this. It was actually nothing like this. It was a lot like Fire Emblem, I guess, but worse. So I've got a good amount of experience. I would like Wish. I would like Move Plus One. I've almost got enough for both of those. What else do I want? I can live without Heal. Canceling Silence is kind of cool, though. Sophia is a pretty good name. That's like a. Sophia is a nice halfway between the old names and the current nice names. I think it's. I think it's closer to current current names. I think you're closer to Jennifer than Edith with Sophia. Cheer up for what region? Yeah, I don't need that. Beat down, I don't need. So I want wish. I want move plus one. I can live without monster skill or equip axe or memes. Heal is tempting. I think we can go for 150 more. Counter throw, like, counter's not that hard to get. Oh, he's gonna... Okay, no man. The only problem with this current system is that I have a character who's periodically losing turns. So she's getting experience slower than the other ones. Let's see how she never got a turn there. See how her 3 went to 2? That's because she would have had a turn if she was alive. Yeah, it's pretty bad for her right now. Alright, she should still get a turn if this wish procs. Which it did. This must look really, like, cheap. Like I'm just breaking the game. You can do this in, uh... To some degree. It's not quite the same, but you can do this to some degree in the base game as well. Accumulate spam strategies. What's funny is, whenever I actually attack him, I'm probably going to melt him. Enemy gets a turn? Nope. The thing about uh, JP is you actually get JP faster as you gain job level ups. 88. Good compat, maybe. Anyway, this game is an absolute nightmare um, in the early game, and I'm really doing my best to skip that. I didn't actually show off just how much of a nightmare it is. It's really bad. But I've gotten two. I've gotten very easy battles on this panel so far. Does JP scroll glitch work in this hack? We'll do that. Uh, we'll use that glitch. I'm not gonna try and like actually max every job. That takes this tedious. I want to show off the hack and not just have like show off me grinding. Yeah, monk can't scroll. If I can, I will absolutely um, JB scroll to Master Wizard or something. How are we doing? 586. Okay, I want 200 for Wish. I want... So that's 350. And then we also want 180 more, so... 430, 530. Alright, we're there. Yes. Hi, how about you? How are you doing? 
He was ahead of everyone else. He's almost got enough to cap the job. He can have, like, heal and all that. He's done. He's set. A lot of people have stories like that for this one. How about Mr. Ramza? Well, let's see if she's finally finished her little journey. 623. So 200. So 423. And then... Uh, 273. And then, yeah, that's enough. That's fine. Huge. I got the double hit, but I got the low roll. I'm using. Can't gain jobs if it's mastered? Is that a thing? I thought you still could, but I'm not sure. I wouldn't think they'd change that for the base game to this. Maybe that is a thing. You need 3,000 JP to master a job, but it stops showing the JP you have once you've mastered it. Okay, I won't master anything then. I'll just get close. I'll leave something to learn for every job. I need equip X. JP to master. My JP is very shit. 2.1? This is based on the... There's a, there's a version of this that's based on War of the Lines and another version that's based on the PS1 version. I'm playing the PS1 version because it emulates a little bit better. Uh, so I guess we're going to send Ramsa down the magical, magical path. Ugh, yep. Maybe it is 2100 since I'm only at 1334 and I'm at rank 6 here. Maybe I just misremembered. So we want counter throw. We want heal. We want target. Fuck it. We ball. So this guy's gonna go. I guess night. All right, which one of these two idiots is gonna be my magical unit? It really does not seem to matter. The slightly higher faith one, I guess, would make the slightly better magic unit. Slightly higher brave one would make the slightly better physical unit. I don't know. So you'll be a, you'll be a, compat check. Not, a, I don't care. You're gonna be a marksman, and you're gonna be a chemist. Tactars, I think so. They took out a bunch of monsters and put in a bunch of other monsters. So I think Kem I don't remember if Chocobos are in. I think they are. But they might have taken out Wildcats, for example, to put in um the Tomberries.
Time Strike is quite good. So is Stunning Strike. Really slow with bad movement, huh? You wouldn't, you don't say a Tonberry. I can't believe they would make Tonberries really slow with bad, bad movement. Uh, damn it! I worked out like two days ago. And my fucking, I still feel it in my chest. I put my arms up and I feel like a little stiffness. That's the best kind of pain on this fucking earth, is when you work out and then like the next two days, you're not in pain, but like you kind of move and you feel it in that spot. I'm not going to bother with anything in Chemist. High po auto Potion is really fucking good, obviously. The item is very decent. Maintenance is very decent in particular fights. I don't know how they changed Move Fight Item if they changed it at all. My chemist had several marksman skills already, that's funny. She was the one who ate the crystal. Concentrate's kind of good. Especially in this hack. Uh, thievery has a an accuracy check in it. And th stealing doesn't become 100% accurate when you have concentrate on, but it does become more accurate because it removes that accuracy check. So putting concentrate on your thief is kind of nice, but there's only one. F there's like two fights in the game where I consider stealing to be important. It's like the Gafgarian fight where you can steal his sword and then like Elmdor to steal his his everything. Looting Elmdor is actually a really difficult. I feel like I'm spending like a ridiculous amount of time in each playthrough, like dedicated to that one fight, just so I can grab his entire inventory. Meliodol, yeah, getting her uh, perfume is really nice. Okay, I would like to grab uh, at least another fight to get um, rank 3 in Chemist. I see no reason we shouldn't have an extra 50 health. Defender is a poach from Trent's, if memory serves. It's not super hard to get. It's mostly just novel. It's not a great weapon. It's pretty strong. You can get a lot of really interesting stuff from poaching. Alright, let's see if I get absolutely owned in my first fight. So, Chocobo? Something purple. Not as a thief. He walked away. So we got quite a few enemies on this one. A goblin. Four foes, four allies. The thieves are kind of annoying, but I think with a few um, a few accumulates under my belt, it should probably be okay. I probably want to kill the Tomberry because he could be a huge nuisance. I don't know which enemy I want to leave alive. Ah, that's annoying. I didn't put guts. I'm going to be in this battle for a while. Let's just restart it. Why is it default to new game? Oh, I didn't do any of this. There we go. Alright. What 
was Aaron Kenner. Thief. Thief a bomb. Leaving a bomb alive should be alright. Okay. I'm glad that he missed. This is the perfect opportunity to wipe this guy off the fucking face of the earth. Counter. I've got a knife equipped. Well. Three damage, baby. Good damage. Still pretty good. I don't know if I'll be able to hit him from here. If I can't, I'll just accumulate. I got Zenny Nugget. Stole my armor. That's quite annoying. Damn it, I forgot she has a knife. A knife! Nice. Why'd he fucking get his turn so fast? Ah, uh, auto potion. Did I just punch? No. Alright, this is going really, really bad. I think this might be a restart already. That hit rate was absurdly low. 37%? Alright, yeah, this is a wash. Might have been winnable. Didn't look good. Nah. Things snowball in such a negative way in this hack due to enemy healing. Alright, this could be a good fight with this formation. Give me some humans, damn it. What are my enemies? What? <laughs> it's, just, it's just two of them. Okay, this is a pretty rare encounter, and I've had it like three times now. This is a sign from God. Yeah, just the two bros. Two homies, the two amigos. So the problem is the, um, Chemist is going to use items and continuously resurrect the other guy. Which means I guess I have to kill the chemist if I'm going to kill everyone. Anyone. Well, I almost fucking... I wrecked that guy on my very first action. I want... S I want to hit this guy. 51 is pretty low. Of course, 8 is pretty low, too. Hey, nice parrying sword, idiot. I say as I do fucking 0 damage to him. Time strike. 45%? Uh, what about my basic attack? 
45%, so not looking great on the concentration front. Maybe that wasn't the double action. Oh. Alright, well, I got the guy here, so let's fuck him up. Any six is not one hundred. Get fucking owned. What's up with this compat? Those two need to become better friends. hit him with my 45% attack. Hell yeah you are. So the chemist actually needs to get some actions off. Because she's the one I'm here for. I need her to be job level 3. Yellow's haste, right? More haste equals more region. Also means more actions. Ah, I don't like that he just did that. Alright, well. I don't want this guy getting a turn. He's got one health. Maybe he'll tend to resurrect his friend. I'm looking like yes. Friend's getting a turn. That's annoying. David and Masahiro. Let's surround the body. I can't. Why can't if everyone contributes? Oops, I just waited. Ugh. Alright. We're gonna play this game, huh? Now he can't be reached. 
Oh, terrible compat. My two girls hate each other. Women, eh? We are a rank 2 chemist. We need 90 more for rank 3. Ah, uh, 80% equals 0%. That's annoying. Okay, turn order is fine right now. It's a bit annoying that he's canceling my haste. My dude left. So this guy was a chemist. I guess I'll send one of my own chemists on it. Bitch can't get a turn. Need her to get turns, damn it. Oh my god. Okay, with this haste, she should get a turn before he does. Job level up. That's the one I needed. Heal her? Like, with a fucking potion? Let's see what the crystal gives. Maintenance is kind of cool. Alright, it's more long-term useful to take the skills. break and I counter attacked him. That would be annoying if he hit me. Uh I don't know. We're gonna find out. So far I don't have any jobs I can scroll with. Okay, she still needs like three more actions. I'm gonna be pretty pissed if this guy finds a way to kill himself on me. He's still got a good amount of health, but you never know.
Yeah, that's just a feature of vanilla. You get all the skills by picking any option. When you pick up a crystal, you just get all the skills, that's it. I thought you were talking about the JP scroll glitch. Okay, yeah. This should teach me my skill. Jump level up. Let's take a look at her. Don't care about the skills in Chemist. Yep, we got Priest and Wizard. No, I think you do. I think you just get them all no matter what. Alright, let's uh, target this guy. Actually, didn't do that much damage. Alright, that might be the end of our grind. Okay, let's see if we can get this JP scroll glitch stuff working. That looked good. Oh, there you go. Alright. Quite a lot of skills we're about to grab. I've got to pick one to not learn. I guess magic defend up. Let's take a look at what we're what we're looking at here. Um oh, Cure is pretty straightforward. Holy Strike is new. Note speed zero zero. It casts instantly, which is pretty neat. Um It's uh cost MP, does holy damage, and it uh What's the range? It's just, you do it as a swing of your weapon, so it's whatever your weapon is. So probably you're equipping a cane, you're doing it one panel away. Uh, it lets you do a magic attack so that you actually have something other than holy, so that you can have some damage presence. Yeah, this one as well. It's holy but tiny. We'll look at all these once we get into the game. I can skip region. What is it that I want to skip? I can definitely skip region. I rather have magic up than region. Yeah, uh, that one didn't work. We need more. We need a little bit more experience. Because we only have a single panel of scrolling. We have to be able to do something like this to this. Okay. I guess we'll put on Regenerator. No, Magic Defend Up. Um, hmm. Who's going to take which route? Offensive Magician Baphomaza? He'd be better as my healer since he seems to have good compat with my other characters. With these with this one as my healer, that's kind of annoying that she's he's gonna Ah oh, shit. Alright, Batham is a healer. I mean they're both gonna be doing both. Yeah, black mages are really fucking good. Very interesting, well-designed job. We've got elements up the ass, but each one is only a single spell. You don't have just... Like, this makes the base game's Black Mage look really bad, because of how cool it is. Explosions are fire element spell, adds oil. Single target. Chain lightning hits, uh, like, Earth Slash, I think. And it's our lightning element spell. 
Cyclone, we've got a Wind Element spell that adds Float. Kind of interesting. The speed variance is quite high too. Like, Chain Lightning is instant. Everything's pretty fast. Mjolnir's Ice, right? No, Lightning. Duh. Blizzard's Ice. Shatter is... Super high damage on people who are stopped, I guess. Meltdown. This is minus strike. But it kills you. No, it's not minus strike. I think it's more like the more HP you have. It's more like Final Gambit in Pokemon. I don't know. We'll have to look at that. It's either minus strike or Final Gambit. Brog. This was just in vanilla. Dark Holy. So Flare is gone and Dark Holy is in its place. Counter Magic is good. Magic Attack Up is good. This is a class worth mastering. This is an endgame class. Okay, what we got going on in here? We're one experience point away from level 3. I think we need... Oh no, we only need 3. We don't even need 4. Okay, now I feel stupid. I could have had Thief unlocked. If I did one extra action, that's pretty annoying. Um, the knight skills are quite good, but I think it's very tempting to just grab counter and progress to monk. I think that's the optimal thing to do here. This is just the same ass moveset. Monk was a perfect moveset, there's no need to change it. Fun fact, Wayfist's Japanese name is Hadouken. As in, yes, that Hadouken. Move HP up. Was that, was that always a monk? Where was that? I don't remember who had that. Martial Arts was always monk. They increased the price, I think. I think it used to be like 200. It was one of the cheapest monk skills, so I grabbed it thinking it was good. And it is good, but it's not good on monk. Monk has it inherently. Meatbone Slash is very cheap. This is a really good skill. It's like really good in particular scenarios. If you can set up the scenarios, it's busted. It's better at late game too, if you've got a character with like 400, 500 HP. HP Restore is decent too. Look at the little frog, look at it bounce! Chakra's really nice. It's a very good support skill that you can just use to keep your mages kind of healthy. Yeah, let's go Monk. Got the Karate Man. Stunning Strike is kind of maybe worth grabbing. I'd rather grab Concentrate. Let's just try and get 100 experience in the next fight. Concentrate's the best thing to grab from this. I mean, Speed Save is, but then Concentrate. It makes more sense for both of them to be Black Mage. We need JP and Black Mage. I'll do some leveling up in White Mage later. Make sure they're both equipped. Plug it. Plug it. I have a good amount of money right now. Okay, whatever I do, I need, like, stuff that raises my MP. Why is my MP going down? Oh, she had a linen robe, that's why. Okay, Roms is extremely pathetic. Um, no, actually, their MP totals are pretty good. 
Okay, I think we're going to be alright. I think we're all going to make it, bros. Um, I probably have some stuff to gear out. Okay, yeah, this is embarrassing inventories. I just need to remember to rob uh, Algus and lead a blind when they leave. Delita, I can probably just leave him equipped. It doesn't matter that much. Why not? He'll be helping. August leaves when he has the fight with Delita. Alright, now we finally can progress. Okay, this is a completely ordinary fight with an completely ordinary enemies. However, they do have new skills. Armor break. Okay. I guess died in the first, like, five seconds. I could um, do a little bit of magic damage to some of these enemies. I don't know how good it's going to be. Really annoying fight to try and see the FOs. You know, it's not horrible, but it's not great. I may get owned in this fight, honestly. Well, I confused that guy. 28 versus Spirit Surges. 51. Very, very nice. Critical quick on bombs is so unbelievably mean spirited. Alright, Rams is dead. Didn't take long. I can't quite reach the bomb, or Ramza for that matter. I guess I could revive Algus. Don't have a lot else I'm doing. He'll consume an enemy turn, and he might even attack. That is a lot. Never mind, he ran away. Okay, so I almost lost on the spot. In fact, I think I did lose on the spot. I didn't think you would, um... I didn't think he would do that when he wasn't critical. Yeah, no, it's just Elgus, and he has 1 HP. Overall, I would say this fight was a little bit of a wash. That just completely caught me off guard with how fucking bad it fucked everything up. Alright, this time let's run away. Let them come to me. Pretty funny fight. It was over fast anyway. I'd have been really sad if that happened right at the end. So it's very tempting to go and get a black magic or two. I think they do. I don't think you have to wait until grenades. I think even the regular ones have it. Okay. Let's not fuck around this time. I had a hundred. Hell yeah, chuck a rock at it. Okay, Algus is doing a little bit of work. Never mind, he's dead. Oh, my counter attack did an ass ton. That's what I like to see. Huge. Okay, I need to hit it like one more time. Uh, this fucking area of effect. So I just need to kind of donk it just a little bit, a little teeny donk. Okay. All right. I 
Things are going a bit better. Overall, I would say. Okay. God, turn punch is good. And by that I mean bad. Okay, it's her turn right now. So if I can get off this... I'll have revive. Alright, new plan. We spirit surge the bomb. Do it critical quicks right now? Okay, I didn't. Thank God. I, was, I didn't do the math. So I can just raise her. Why not, right? So this is getting a little better. Yeah, this has been, um, to put it lightly, different. Magic really fucking carried. Okay. Let's save before we do anything just in case. I don't know if it's going to matter. I don't know about this difference in skill points. It would be nice if I could learn a bunch of stuff like this. I don't know the rules on this like trick though. Okay, I changed my number. It went down a little bit. And now I can't even learn it anymore. Okay, as expected, that was not it. Let's uh, restart real quick. Probably I need to do a battle where I just get a little bit of experience with Wizard. To get my JP scroll. I need like the right difference in JP between two skills, but I can only scroll a single tick. So I need the right pair of skills to make it work. We might have to manually learn things, which I really don't want to do. How about you? How are you doing? I think no one really grabbed anything. I think we're going to go straight for Chakra on this one. Chakra's kind of the best skill here. A lot of points with Chemist. Learned almost everything. I learned all that, and I didn't spend a single thing. I learned all these from crystals. Alright, she didn't even get the amount of experience I wanted her to. Thief has... Is it cheaper? I think it's about the same price. I think they might have lowered the price of Jump Plus too. This might have been 560 before. 420 seems cheaper, but maybe I'm thinking of the PSP version, or I'm just making shit up. Um, Secret Hunt is Poach. Wasn't that on Archer before? I don't actually remember. It might have been on Thief. Um, Catch is good at Endgame, but not until then. Guild Game Heart and Caution are both memes. I do want the entire set of steals. I love that they did Guild Toss instead of... That's such an improvement. Guild Toss instead of... Uh, does this actually consume Gil? I don't remember. Guild Toss instead of uh, Steel Gil. Steel Gil was useless. Guild Toss is pretty good. Guild Toss was mysteriously absent. Why am I getting texts? Who's blowing up my fucking texts? I 
Did y'all see the debate? What do you think? Says my brother. My mom. I didn't watch it. My brother. It was very bad. A shocking event. What a shit show. My brother is very, um, very liberal. I am too for what it's worth. And he says, Biden's campaign set the whole thing up, and suddenly Democrats are having serious and widespread talks about pressuring him to step down from running. It was actually that bad. I don't think anyone saw this coming. Damn it, was it really that bad? Literally everyone I've ever met says Biden's too damn old, and for the record, Trump is too. Even if you think nothing else about them, they're too damn old. I've always wanted to do a four job fiesta run. Oh wait, four job fiesta with this game? Dude, everything about the entire presidential system sucks ass. Debates are just one little piece that sucks ass of a huge, huge thing. Okay, Final Fantasy V. I've always wanted to do four job fiesta. I could figure out how it would go just by like flipping, rolling dice, finding out what my four jobs would be, and then just imagining. But I really want to just try it. Four job fiesta is like a little. It's like a little game. It's a, a challenge run of FF5, where you just roll four jobs and you have to beat the entire game with those four jobs. It's one per crystal. And then people optionally, usually kind of ignore the berserker because it makes the game a lot harder if you roll that as one of your jobs. Um, so when you, you end up with one of each, but as you unlock them, you've got to set up your characters in like pairs of them. Yeah, that's a pretty bad loadout. Every single skill Thief gets is kind of not a combat skill. You get stuff like fleeing and like seeing invisible paths and like sprint and like uh, what else. But literally all of it is just like not a skill to help you fight enemies. I think Thief does not get a single skill that makes them stronger in combat. And the weapon types you use are not too strong. Berserker is a good combat job as long as, you know, the boss can be killed by just spamming attack. You really wish it was stronger, given how much you lose by switching to it. Geomancer is pretty good, but yeah, if they're mean to Gaia, you have nothing. Geomancer is only Gaia. It was fascinating hearing people who um, it was fascinating hearing other people talk about um, their experiences with a uh, FF5. Right, I'm going to try and get a battle just to get some experience on Wizard. I'm not going to have it be super long, and to cap out, well not to cap out, but like to just get, I'm just going to have a super short fight, I'm just going to go for the kill on everyone. And we're just going to try and get a little bit of experience on Wizard, and then finish off with our bowmen. Okay, this doesn't look too hard now that I have some, sp oh shit, there's a lot of enemies. Six enemies. Okay, this might end up being super difficult actually. That was a really low roll. Nice throw stone. Alright, no one's really in range. Spirit Surge is only one tile. Never mind, it goes pretty far. It 
Spirit Surge is like my entire offense, and I only have like five casts per guy. Ooh, confusion. Uh, can I heal that with heal? No. All right, you know what that means. Why'd I get the full damage? Ugh. Ugh. Alright, can we Asuna? It's not going to cast instantly. It also costs way too fucking much. Ugh. Ah, no, I'm not playing that. They look too annoying. Shout out to the tutorial mode that no one ever opens. We got another easy fight. Ah, oh, we got four of them this time. I think it should be winnable though. Depends on how much they heal each other. Now, what kind of numbers are we looking at for Spirit Surge accuracy? Is it just 100? No. Oh, well, we might as well go for it. As they say in the business, you only live once. Okay, good start. Get better and better. I could throw a rock at him, the chances of me hitting are pretty low. 11%. Let's just accumulate. Okay, speed rune is a little bit annoying. Oh, the counter throw! Did I just get an insanely lucky action? That almost one shot, sir. Potion is annoying. Wish is also annoying. This guy is not particularly close to getting his turn, but you know. Make sure he doesn't get it. Cool. I guess we'll try. So Holy Strike is 85% accuracy. Spirit Surge is also 85%. Guarded. 85% right, is actually 0%. Okay, this guy's almost got a turn. We can't be having that. Be 
beat down for 43. Pretty beefy damage, actually. Moving on one. This man with some holy strikes. Alright, target should finish him. And what are we at? Are we at almost 350? A little bit over. Good money. Save before I do anything. Okay, very good odds that I can do something here. There, that looks good. Yep, there we go. Thank God. How about you? Shit. She's a little bit too low. Well, we know how to do it. I will leave out Shatter. I'll leave out Frog. I don't need Frog. Get that magic attack up. That's what I'm talking about. Counter magic. Probably won't use that too often. Let's learn the ways of the white mage. Oh, I got the wave fist. No, I want chakra. Can't do anything here yet. You, I can just go ahead and grab concentrate. And I might as well put it on, right? Why not? And then let's go ahead into thief. Guild toss is tempting just so I have a ranged option. It's cheap. There's really no reason not to grab it. Even though I've kind of got throw stone anyway. I don't know what I really want Delita to grab. I guess I could grab one of the ruin spells for him. Hi. I think I'm going to nap before my job interview today. I might do that very soon. I'm going to make a, an earnest attempt at this next battle, though. Uh, I would prefer not to have a random battle here, but if I do have one, I might actually do it. Okay. This could be the last little bump my mage needs. So, fuck it. We'll do it. Ooh, interesting series of enemies. We've got an airman and um, two mediators and uh, one of these little, uh, what do you call these, minotaur guys. Shake off, berserk, and blow fire. Oh, I think these are enemy skill, right? Train, isn't that it? Is that monster skill? No, it's not. I feel like one of these guys has monster skill. No, neither of them do. It might be inherent, or they might just inherently have... Let's see what we got here. Discourages targets. I don't know how monsters work in this. Minotaurus is pretty scary. Whatever. 
let them come. Warn. To inflict, defend. Probably one of the funnier skills in the game. Alright, what are you weak to? Halves every element. Okay. How about you? Absorbs fire and earth. Guess we'll just go down the list and look at our damage values. They're in a nice little row, so I can definitely hit them with a uh, chain lightning if I want. Pretty good damage on that. Heals, as predicted. 89 is decent. 54 is very good. Ooh, look at that range. I I like that it'll hit him too. Yeah, that seems kind of good. Cyclone definitely on the table. A ton of damage on the ice one. My let me only sunder. Blizzard. Big range again. Don't really need it over uh, Cyclone. Shatter does nothing if they're not stopped. Meltdown causes me to explode. Dark Holy, I don't even have the MP to cast. But it would theoretically do 131 and 181. Okay, it would be a strong spell if I could cast it. I'm seeing Cyclone, Cyclone, or Cyclone right now. Oh, he had kind of magic. Thank God he didn't do it. Okay. Uh, Phoenix down, of course. That looks kind of tempting. Did I kill my own mage? Alright, things are rapidly going awry here. Okay, cut that out. Ugh. Where's Osmos, damn it? Don't like that. They still have very low HP. Okay, well, I deserve that. She might get her turn. I don't know, they're both decent targets. How much damage am I looking at here? You know it helps. Well, the number would have been nice. Okay. Alright, please, please, please. I don't know. Show me those numbers.
No, she barely got anything, damn it. I think this is enough, though. Yeah, that's more like it. Yeah, now we're gaming. Monk with Chakra. Oh, I have nothing there. Defend doesn't seem really necessary. Neither does equip change. The only skill in the base game that actually was zero 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 zero. Uh, equip axe seems kind of pointless on a fucking monk, especially because I haven't encountered an axe yet. All right, so Merchant City Dorter is basically the run ender for people who don't know what they're doing. Let's see if I know what I'm doing or not. Uh, Ramza, I think, doesn't show up on the map, no matter what you do. Or he's, like, in a different spot than where you place him. Wargraf is such a badass when he stabs Gustav. Wargraf is such a badass in general. This game is such a fucking tactics over game. They had a lot of balls to just call it. Um, nice move. <gasps> He's out of my range. Even target? Uh oh. Throwing a stone for eight. Let's try chucking some gill at him. Twelve. Well, you know, I'll just take the fifth stone. Oh, look, I got twelve anyway. I didn't spend a dime. We're gonna have my mages kill all the enemies on the bottom. Eleven turns in the future, by the way. Also, Ramza... No, he spawned where I expected him to spawn. If I could haste myself, that would be super useful. But I can't. Yeah, where are these idiots going to wander off to? They always do that, I think. Speed Ruin is not great. Didn't hit, though. Okay, someone died. That's super not great. Maybe I can do a chain lightning from all the way across here. Yeah. It's not horrible. I can also just resurrect my dead guy. Do the chain lightning. Alright, let's if I could just dash this guy off this edge. That would be so nice. Let's take a chance and throw a stone at him. This will probably kill him from fall damage. No, that did nothing. Holy shit. I thought fall damage was higher than that. Alright, Cyclone in one turn. Seems kinda good. Alright, yeah, that's kinda good. That's kinda good too. I can live with that. Ow. Jesus. Okay, Ramza. Alright, I need to get nice and close so that I can just knock these guys with a big ass spell. Here. Hits everyone. 58, 43. Can't see his number, but it's probably good. I don't know. Alright. So 
so far this fight's going pretty well. Um, it's just a corpse, but, you know. Oh, I got the parrying sword. My grinding, plus my, um, uh, JP scroll glitch. Got me a lot of mileage. Yeah, I'll just kick that guy in the face. Probably not too much to grab. We're at the point in the game where I'm just going to be kind of like leveling without caring about skills to learn for a while. Especially with my two magic units. That's true, I just cast Cyclone twice. The variety you get with all the spells is so fucking good. layer of the sand mouse. Oh god, the Hokuten. I forgot to translate that shit. Alright, let's uh, make sure they don't ever leave this place. Why can I not even guarantee cheer up on myself? But also like IRL. Yeah, it's a long time. Block off the doors. Okay. Guild game heart. We're just going to be casting magic for this fight. That's basically how you do it in the base game anyway. I see a bunch of targets in there. Not great. Can't get more than two characters. Where are they all? That's all of them? It's just five enemies? Oh, the other guy left. Six. Alright, it doesn't really feel that impressive to use that spell, so we'll use this one. No, the order went super fast. I missed a 95 just now. Alright, let's just, let's just cast something big. Big and mean. That's big and that's mean. Yeah, this spell's gonna go hard. Okay. And my thief lives. And my Ramza dies. Okay, that's annoying. Uh, those guys can both be hit. Oh, me only one target. This will hit both of them. I think that's not even doing more than Cyclone is. It is. But I can live with Cyclone. Okay. Nice. Boom. Cut that out, what the fuck? Ugh.
I think he's got weapon guard. Didn't want that. Oh my god. Oh my god. How do they manage it? She dead? Alright. I need this wish to fucking proc. 38% baby. Damn it. That would have been nice. Ooh, that's really bad actually. Uh, Ramza could die. Oh, I lose. I just straight up lose. Oh no, I can reach Ramza. Okay, I missed. Yep. Okay, well. GG. So that should have been a really easy fight, but um, Revival just fucked me over super badly. And also I got actually really bad luck. I had a miss on one of my uh, skills. And um... Didn't get any of my wishes off. Cheer up just to give myself some experience. Um, is there a spot where I could chain lightning from? Makes more sense to not do anything, just close in. I don't get. Curse strike. I guess it's dead. Alright, well, could be better. But we've definitely got some clear planes of action. Looks nice. All right, that's five dead guys. Last one did not revive anyone. Oh, that guy lived. All right. GG. That went a lot better than the first attempt. Oh my god, Gustav's gonna get stabbed! Oh, it's gonna be so sick! Oh, there it goes. Just like that. This game's plot is great, so it's a shame that I'm just skipping it. Look, it's uh, Sephiroth. It's Mark Marky Eldor. Or perhaps Marquis. Depending on how f hard you believe in the art of the French. So I'm basically just waiting on, um, I didn't get that much experience for Wizard. Basically just waiting on Monk. It's like nothing went up. Oh, he didn't even do anything at all last match. You know, Thief can steal something now. Nope, nothing is 200. Accessory, I guess I should grab for, well, weapon I should grab first. 500, kind of pricey. Alright, we made no progress, technically speaking.
We progressed the game. Why am I not equipping a weapon? What happened? So the white staff is like a weird weapon in the base game. Cancel negative status. Okay, that's better. In the base game, it canceled doom. It's such a weird thing. It's like it got identical stats to Oak Staff, except it cancels Doom. And by the time you get it, like in this very early game, no one's getting Doomed, and no one will get Doomed for a very long time. And then Doom isn't that bad of a status anyway. It's so weird to have that. It's like, oh, it's the same thing, but it cancels Doom. Here's fucking, you know, I'm sure everyone just mindlessly buys it. Even though it's got the same stats. And just costs, you know, 600 more gil. 680. Well, 800 more, because you already bought the Oak Staff. It's not like you're not buying it. Uh, if they s are selling, yeah, Linen Robe, that's 100% worth. Red Hood is also worth. That's not really worth. It's 500, it's not expensive. Okay, we can buy an elemental rod. The spell I'm using is just wind element, and I don't think they power up elements anyway. Magic explosion. Ice bracelet. So we that's weird. <laughs> we got a dragon spell. Oh, it does say strengthen spell. Alright, uh, I gotta think hard on which one I want. Chain lightning is probably the most useful. I don't know, they're all good. So bracelet is a mistranslation of the word breath. They translated it from English to Japanese as bresu, and then from Japanese back to English as bracelet. This game does that a few times, where there's just like a, a round trip translation that's wrong. The translation of this game is a little bit notorious. It's generally pretty decent, but every now and then there's some really hilarious slip-ups. I think the FF, FFT on PS1 actually has the cross helmet correct. In the uh, War of the Lines version, they incorrectly translated it as the close helmet. Kurosu. It's like a helmet with a giant cross on it, and they really called it the close helmet instead of the cross helmet. I can just grab both of those. Fuck it. Don't really care about these two idiots. That's quite a big jump in health, actually, for August. Whatever, I'll get it back when I loot him. Actually, is he done with combat? What fights does he still participate in? He doesn't help with Maluda, right? He leaves before that. Earlier someone said they played up to Meluda 1, and I was like, oh, that's pretty deep, but I was thinking of Meluda 1. I think Algus is about to leave. He's not on your party for super long. Alright, let's try and win a battle. I'm about to go nap, by the way. Monk? Archer? What we got here? Oh, quite a big enemy group. Five people. It's no 11 monks, but you know, it's kind of scary. No? I'd love to get a fat ass chain lightning off. No characters are in a row. This guy's kind of close to me. Let's bonk him. So Spirit Surge is doing 62, which is quite a lot. Explosion, also doing 62. Cyclone 55, it's a bit weaker. Chain Lightning 41. Mjolnir, ooh, just kills him on the spot. I think I can part with 20 MP.
Not even that much to that guy. Can't see the numbers on the other ones. I think these two would be good to hit. I can't hit both of them together. So I can't hit these two together, so it's gotta be them. Okay, Rams is dead. I inflicted float on that guy. Let's heal Ramza. Seems like the most useful way I can spend my turn. Oh. He got the double shot off. It's a bit annoying. So I think everyone over on this side just had a turn, so I think we can just have a fat spell that's just gonna hit everyone. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We'll just dog this lady. Nice beefy hit. Okay. Uh, we got one remaining living enemy. I guess I can chuck some gill at him. Throw a rock. Weapon guard on a fucking monk, by the way. Just why I had 100% hit rate on him. I can still lose this. Never mind. What we got in this shop? It's all the same shit. By mantles, finally. Mentals are very underrated. There's a couple of really good ones that you can only get from poaching too. Or move an item. Uh, I think we should loot Algus. Just to be safe. Oh, you know, Nagus doesn't leave yet, so he will participate in the first Maluda battle. He's the one. He does. The animals have no god. Of course, he's present for that fight. It's the most iconic scene in Chapter One. Hell, it's the most iconic line in the game. Yeah, he can be decked out for one more combat. Okay, marginally better items for my uh, all my heavy armor units, which do not exist, by the way. I have a parrying sword. I can give it to the leader for at least a minute. He does have weapon guard on. Is that really your health? 65 is so low. Guess he's probably a low level. Alright. Maybe one more fight before I leave. And we'll see how hard this one is. This is just an assassinate mission, but it can be really tricky. That would have been annoying. All these enemies have less health than I remember. Okay, that's great, actually. Alright, please. Let me get off this fat attack. That looks pretty good. 
here actually is more optimal. I'm going to hit my teammate though. Plus Delita. Okay. I need to go over like here somewhere. Uh, no, Meluda, and that happens in this battle. And after it. Dead. Uh, I want to hit both the mages. But now I'm missing that top guy. If I do it here, I'm not hitting both of them, I'm just hitting one. I don't think there's a way I can hit both. It's whatever. Protect, huh? Should have been shell. We're human just like you. From the second you were born, you are our animals. It's the will of heaven. Heaven, God would never say such things. In his eyes, all are equal. He'd never let this happen. Never. Animals have no God. God, that line goes so fucking hard. Well, we got her to critical health. I guess I love this, this scenario you're in right at the start of the game where you're fighting good people <laughs> with a bad guy. Alright, now that I've done all my grinding and also all my glitching, things are going pretty quick. She's not an animal, she's a human just like us. There are a lot of characters in this game that are just victims. ta da no! this game on Steam? No. I don't think. I don't know what World Lines is actually on. It was on PSP and I think it went on something else. Might have been mobile. But I don't think it's on Steam. Just emulate. Hey, they just stabbed him. While he was asleep. I mean, wait, he probably... No, he wasn't in any way behind this, was he? I think this one is legitimately not something he caused. There's a disturbing number of things that Dysodarg, like... Did. Was behind. But I think this one is just, is just chaotic. This one's just outside his control. Pretty sure. Stigma Magic. It had quite a long list even in the first game. The original. Things it cancelled. I'm going to go for Wave Fist. Probably Spin Fist. Maybe Meat Bones Slash. I don't know. I'm just going to... Oh, okay. I'm going to get Revive. Or slash and Wave Fist are probably... Spin Fist, maybe... And then I'll just head over to Geomancer, I don't know. I like Geomancy a lot, even though it's not great. It's cool. Still don't have enough for even a single thing. Doing all these battles, but not making any progress. Okay, now we should definitely render Algus naked. Nice inventory you got there. I think this particular version of the game prevents you from looting Gefgarian and 
getting him to be like, you know, a chemist. I don't need to save yet. Calm down. Argus tells it like it is. He's right, too. Argus actually has the read on Dice of Dark here. This is such a complicated scenario. The first ten chapters of this game tell an absolutely fantastic story. Where it's just like... It's like a house of cards collapsing in a really unlucky way to just fuck over one character in particular. And then also, um, oh yeah, I forgot this is a cutscene. Sound of blowing on a reed. This uh, morally great everything. This game is absolutely fantastic. Ten out of ten, and should be played by every every human. Uh, I want to play more, but I should get some sleep before my job interview. I'm not even tired, honestly, but it's just, it would be smart. I'm going to leave for the time being. <laughs>